During a time in which we cannot be physically connected, we rely on staying connected virtually. And when we are cut off physically and virtually, where does that leave us? Earlier this year, I finally caved and upgraded to the Verizon Unlimited data plan, mostly as a result of this very concern, the fear of finding myself disconnected from the rest of the world. There were too many times when I received a text warning that our family was running out of data for the month, so I decided I didn't want to have to worry about that anymore. I knew if I just signed up for unlimited data, I will have internet access no matter where I am, and I would no longer have to track the number of gigabytes that we have used. So I thought. When this week's storm knocked out our power, cable, and Wi-Fi connection, I patted myself on the back and said, at least we have unlimited data. The problem, of course, was I soon discovered that cellular, cellular LTE service was not so strong, and it was very difficult to access websites, download files, or pretty much do anything. So much for unlimited. This week's Torah portion is called Akev, which in Hebrew can be translated as because of, or perhaps more accurately as on the heels of, or as a consequence of. Akev begins with the promise that if we faithfully observe the commandments, we will receive God's unlimited protection and unlimited love. Sadly, we know that this does not guarantee that things will always work out for us. We know too many examples of bad things that have happened to good people. Nonetheless, I do believe that goodness and appreciation is contagious and that a positive approach to life can sometimes help steer good things our way. Among the things that Moses promised the Israelites in return for good behavior towards God was unlimited food, a land of wheat and barley, of figs and vines and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land where you may eat food without stint, where you will lack nothing. In other words, the ultimate all-you-can-eat buffet. And then Moses concluded with three verbs, v'achalta, v'savata, uverachta. You shall eat, you shall feel satisfied, and you shall give thanks. Rabbi Shlomo of Karlin points out that when we eat in a spirit of gratitude, whether there is a lot of food or very little, the meal will be satisfying. Many people in our community are still struggling with without power, water, or Wi-Fi. If you're able to listen to this message, please know that we are here for you and want to help however we can. We hope that you will reach out. In the meantime, Rabbi Shlomo helped bring perspective to my unlimited dilemma, and I hope that you will find it meaningful as well. At the end of the day, I think we realize that we don't need unlimited food, unlimited resources, or unlimited data. If we can approach each day with a sense of gratitude for the blessings we do have and focus less on what we do not, then good things will come our way. And ultimately, we will feel satiated. Shabbat Shalom.